Hello there, I'm Eamon Holmes reporting for Sky News. We have an important story breaking, a Sky News exclusive, and we head now to Studio One at Sky Academy Skills Studio. Hello, good morning and welcome to Sky News. My name is Mimi. And my name is Jess. The main headlines today are that Father Christmas was spotted flying over Wembley Stadium at midnight last night. And Mrs Ligon swam the Atlantic Ocean for charity with Mo Farah and raised £50 billion. Pounds. She raised how much? £50 billion! Pounds. <laughs> But the main headline today is that cyberbullying is on the rise. Cyberbullying is a new way for bullies to target their victims. And as a result, in 2011 to 2012, there were 2,410 cases. But in 2012 to 2013, there were 4,507 cases. What an increase. This has got to stop. And here is some advice from a special guest on how to tackle this problem. If you are being cyberbullied, tell someone that you can trust. If you are being cyberbullied through a social networking site, drop and report them. If you know someone who is going through something like this, help them out and be there for them. Everyone needs support. And remember, what have you done today to make you feel proud? Thank you for that, Heather. Some really good advice there. Mimi, did you know that 20% of 13 to 22 year olds surveyed said that they had experienced extreme bullying, which is described as daily torment? And in this report, we'll be talking to some students who have been through such circumstances. And we will also be talking to some experts in this field. But first, we hand over to George and David, who are going to give us more information on this subject, reporting from Lincroft School. It's a goodbye from me and me. Thank you, Mimi and Jess. I'm your educational correspondent, George Wegener, reporting live from Lincroft School. Recent statistics show that girls are 50% more likely to get cyberbullied than boys. Iconic social media sites such as Facebook and Instagram are hubs for cyberbullying. Over to David for more information. Behind me, there is a lesson taking place in which students are completing an anti-bullying survey which may give some insight to how children can avoid being cyberbullied. Teachers hope that this will make students be more aware of online safety. Are you sure that you're safe online? Did you know that 1% of 5 to 7 year olds, 18% of 8 to 11 year olds, and 67% of 12 to 15 year olds have an active social networking account? The minimum age for most social networking sites is 13. So most people lie about their age to overcome this barrier. People can hide their identity online. These can be used by fake email addresses, names and other things. So it's hard to track and stop cyberbullies once and for all. It is clear that not everyone is aware of the dangers they face online. Back to you, George. Very interesting stuff. Thank you, David. Always know that your parents can set up a privacy setting and if that doesn't work, then you can report suspicious circumstances to the authorities. Now, it is over to Thomas. Thank you, George. Good morning, I'm Thomas Ross. In this report, I will be giving a brief explanation on how people will get cyberbullied. Research into children and parents' social media attitudes revealed 79% of parents have set up rules for their children, five to 15 year olds, with 45% regularly checking their child's online activities. 87% of teachers feel pupils are e-safe at school. 58% of the teachers think their pupils have the knowledge and skills to say e-safe at school. Oh, to Hannah Weiwei, who will be talking to a victim of cyberbullying. Thank you, Thomas. I'm here with Ben Nucky, the student who has experienced cyberbullying firsthand. Why do you think you were cyberbullied? I'm not sure, really. I thought my friends were just having a joke. But it got worse, and I felt really offended. What advice would you give to any other victims? Oh, that's easy. Cut it out straight away. Go to a teacher or a parent and they'll be fine. Thank you, Ben. As you've heard, cyberbullying is the worst form of bullying for secondary students. Now we head over to Sophie and Nicolette, back to the studio. Thank you, Hannah. Hello, I'm Sophie Haddon. And I'm Nicolette Grace. Today we are joined by Heather Smith and her daughter Matilda who is a victim of cyberbullying. How did it all begin? Well, it began when, out of the blue, I just got this nasty text message from someone that I thought was a friend. 
Yeah, we thought it was one of our friends when they started saying horrible things, and then it escalated onto Twitter and Facebook yeah. and all them social media sites. Mm. And how did this affect you? Well, I was too scared to go out anywhere, and I had a party that I was invited to, and I didn't really want to go. She was quite scared, and then she didn't want to go to school, and then when I was told she had to, she sat at the back of the classrooms and didn't pay attention or do anything. It made her grades drop like, quite big. Mm. When did you tell your parents about this? Well, after a month after the first text. Well, I can understand why she told us a month later, but she should have told us earlier, but it was obviously quite a hard thing because she was being bullied and she didn't know what to do because she thought they were a friend. Yeah. And uh, how was this resolved? Well, it was resolved when I told my parents and they went and deleted my contacts, so we sat down and deleted We went through them. all like, the contacts and made sure they were all like proper true friends who wouldn't like do anything horrible to her or anything mm. like that. What advice would you give to others who are being cyberbullied? Well, I would say just tell your parents and delete anyone that you don't really know. Yeah, definitely tell your parents straight away because they can do lots to help you and mm. they will sort anything out and if worse comes to worse, tell police or report them and do whatever you can really. Thank you very much for letting us interview you and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thanks to the team reporting from Sky Academy Skill Studios, that's the end of our special report. I'm Eamon Holmes. Thank you for watching.